Hello, YouTube family. It's Haley, and it's been a while. A lot of things have happened. Um, it's been quite some time since I made a video, and there are a couple of reasons for that. This is going to be more of a rant type of video, and if that's not your vibe, then I guess you can wait for the next one, if there anyone is one. Essentially, there's a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys and I feel like it's only fair if you knew what was going on in my head. So, let's get started. I mean, I have my filming lights, but I don't want to use them right now. Quick room check. I absolutely love how it's looking right now, so why don't we just sit down on the, on the floor? Let's do that, okay? Let's have like a little conversation. Sorry. Hi. Back to what I was saying, my mom just came and uh, told me that she's gonna order food. I told her what I wanted to eat. Anyway, <sighs> I know this is a hard video to make, I don't want to get emotional, like that's the last thing that I want to do here. Get straight to the point, right? Recently, if you follow me on Instagram, I had one of my reels reach 650k plus views. That's a lot, okay? At one point, I had zero subscribers. And to even think that I have videos reaching tens and hundreds of thousands, of people, it's just a very like overwhelming but happy feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I felt. And with that, I feel like came a sense of responsibility, not to anyone else, just like to myself, that I wanted to post more, like I could not let myself down. And every single video that I did post, I always felt the need to make it better than the last. I know that's a good, mindset to have and honestly it's like a double-edged sword at this point yes it's good for improvement but at the same time it was not good for my mental health fast forward to you know me getting my house this year this beautiful house that i was blessed with thought it would motivate me to make youtube videos but this is literally the second one i'm making in this house Am I disappointed in myself? Very much, yes. Am I gonna do something about it? I want to, but I just don't know how or what to do. The thing is, the first video that I ever made was on a Canon DSLR camera. Like, I got it as a gift from my mom. I got that because I wanted to start a YouTube channel and I thought that would help me make videos. It did for a while and then I didn't have an editing software. You don't need an editing software to edit, but I thought I needed one, so I got one. Fast forward to the camera being so difficult to use, it just got a bit overwhelming. So you know what I did? I started filming on my phone. And then I didn't have a software to edit the stuff that I was filming on my phone. To be fair, there are so many free editing softwares that I could have used, but no. I thought if I bought one, since there's value in it, it would help me post more videos. That didn't happen either. Fast forward to wanting a studio setup. I was using like random lights and lamps that were around my house. And I thought, oh no, this is not enough for me. And I would like to have studio lights because again, I thought it would help me post videos better. That didn't happen either. I mean, they're sitting right there and I don't even use them. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I thought I literally needed a house, an aesthetic background. When I had an aesthetic background, I thought I needed a better one to be able to film more videos. Do you see the problem? It's not the stuff, man. It's not the stuff. It's me. I'm the problem. <laughs> But um, that's what I was like, just got a message. Anyway, dwelling, dwelling. Sometimes I forget how to speak. I have a lot of things that people would 
wish to have and that is the thing that bothers me the most because I want to make the most of what I have I am struggling to even speak because I got ready today not feeling like I want to do this but today is the only free day that I have so I thought I'm just gonna get ready and get the camera rolling hopefully it will bring words to my head but it doesn't seem to be helping but i think you can get the gist of what i'm trying to say i am kind of having a creator's block and that is making me slack with my content it takes a lot of time for the kind of videos that i make it takes time to film it takes way too much time to edit i have very limited time in my hands and i was also tackling university and work at the same time which was a fun experience i don't know how i survived that period um the last bit of 2023 honestly even just thinking about it makes me so happy because it was one of the best times ever if you know you know i worked with formula one i literally got paid to be at a formula one grand prix like i manifested the best year yet you know 2023 was the best i also have footage of the whole like event and working at hq was like insane yeah anyway i'll talk about that in a different video this video is about me complaining right so back to that i'm gonna give myself another chance i have like a week off from university and i wanna like get back into this let's see how that goes i don't care what i'm wearing i don't care how i look i don't care if i'm having a bad hair day my hair is greasy right now i don't know if you can tell it's kind of okay all right it's like manageable moving forward i just want to give a heads up that my videos may not be as entertaining to watch you might like these kind of videos more of me like speaking for example like me having a video call, like a video call with you you get me i'm gonna try and be more engaging because with vlogs it's like clips then voiceover and there's like very little engagement between me and you guys so i think you get my point like I think my point is clear at this point. Stop saying that. I just wanna say that I'm back, I guess. So you thought I'm not quitting, all right? My future self deserves to be proud of me. And the only way that's possible is if my present self works for it. There are so many things that I have done in my past, which if I wouldn't have done it, I would be super sad right now. But because I did do them, I'm really proud of myself the one way the one formula to feel fulfilled and to feel happy in yourself is to be proud of yourself use that energy take from this video what you will i feel like i owe it to myself to start taking youtube seriously because you know what i need i'll tell you what i need i need to see a silver play button right here on my wall i don't know how i'm gonna get it maybe i would never end up getting it it's not gonna happen out of the blue i'm gonna have to work for it right i guess this video itself is a message to my future self like i'm making a promise to my future self that i'm not gonna let you down i feel like that's pretty freaking powerful make yourself a promise actually do this little thing right now with me close your eyes just make yourself one small promise it doesn't have to be like oh i'm gonna get my dream car by next month like that's unrealistic you need to believe it's attainable otherwise it's not gonna happen and from today just start working on it even if you want to manifest something you need to put in the work for it i feel a lot more energized now that i did something because i'm gonna post this moving forward i am not gonna wait for like the beginning of the week or a beginning of a month a beginning of a year i am not gonna wait for a specific time to start working on something i truly enjoy 2024 we're changing stuff up for the better so prepare to see 
me in different forms all right i might have my good days i might have my bad days that's all thank you for watching this video bye